okay if you want take your boat to the water for the new season so remember take that bolt out and drain the water inside the boat because the water is uh, from last year or from rain has coming inside the boat and it's going accumulate under here remember this is very important so we are going to uh, unscrew this uh, this uh, screw here and see what is inside okay. it could be water inside and if you don't drain it the boat become very uh, very heavy see how much water is inside But as you see, no water inside the boat. See? Where this water is coming is from the hole, the hole inside here. So it's, it's very important that you empty all water, drain all water before you start. Take your boat to the water for new season <laughs> okay about one hour we come back and see if the all water is drained out almost little bit water is as you see still water here so it's very important that you drain the water before you take your boat to the sea again we will start grinding you should cover your boat because the dust is very bad and can come on the top of the, your boat and damage inside and you should wash it again so cover it properly before you start to to paint or whatever you call it also use this machine to, to clean the paint under the boat uh, is is good for some places as you see few tip uh, first of all you cover your boat because the dust coming for old paint is not good for your boat and going uh, inside the boat and damage everything the second is that cover your uh, uh, cover under the boat so you don't want to paint coming and touch uh, this uh, hanger under the boat so uh, this the third tips is the tape exactly as the old pane uh, is there to don't damage the uh, the paint upside okay to painting under the boat you just lift it up uh, with the jack and for uh, security put some tree and uh, close um, around the boat as you see I have a good distance here to paint under the boat so safety first yeah, and clean it with the sandpaper as you see I use the most uh, grass some paper I have to to clean first and paint under the boat later.
we do not need take all the old paint away just as you see is very flat and surface is clean is enough after grinding on the boat you use a clean cloth and clean everywhere under the boat As you see, it's a little bit of still dust. So you should clean all dust before you start painting. My tip is first the primer, and second go to the uh, anti fouling. It's the best. The color is like that, and as you see, I'll show you. Under the boat first, uh, look like a primer, and it's better use the uh, use the rule to to paint under. Okay, we lift up the jack to get access under the boat. So, as you see, I took away these trees uh, under the boat and I painted the most uh, places under the boat. And we leave it a little bit dry because it's gonna be dry about uh, half an hour. And we put this back and go to paint other side go to paint that side I can't take it away but for safety reason I don't want to do that and uh, leave it like that a tip uh, if you don't have access under some uh, under the boat so you can use a long handle as I have yeah, and you can paint under the boat as well so it's a good tip okay after painting under here and as you see it's dry so we put put all back here slowly and and we come uh, we sink the jack down to paint under here so we are finished here and sink the jack to paint under here as you see okay so we have no space to 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 primer here too as well as other places Okay, no. After two hours, yeah, I see that is uh, uh, the first coat is dry, and we can uh, start with the uh, second coat on the folding on the top. This is a primer first, and as you see, is very dry after two hours. After two hours, this is very dry. So we start with the anti folding. Let's see, I have a rule and the color is blue, dark blue. You can choose the other color if you want. So we are starting carefully. And it's going very fast. It's going about, you are going to be finished about half hour. Okay. Uh, I see the first coat on the folding coat is almost uh dry after about one hour so i start second coat for anti-floating uh this area as you see the jack was here 
So he's down and I put some thing under the boat, the side, after it's become dry. And I put also one rubber uh, stuff here to don't damage the uh, uh, paint. So the last area I should paint is here, under the jack. Otherwise the rest is done. As you see. Okay, now I am finished with the second coat of uh, anti folding And I'm going to wait about one hour. And also after that, I'm going to remove all tape around and uh, polish the boat. And I will show you. Uh, uh, how can uh, clean the boat? Okay, after two hours, we are going to remove the tape. Uh, it's good to remove the tape as soon as possible because the tape, uh, if the color becomes dry, could uh, damage the line, as you see here. So it's better remove it faster. Uh -huh. That side I removed and look nice. Some places should kill in later. Okay, as you see, the kill band strips was total damage. So I tried to find, but it was expensive. So I found some some uh, plastic, hard plastic type, and I installed it here. As you see, and it looks nice all the way. You see, it's very hard plastic, and you can, you should, you should make a hole, drill a hole every 20 centimeters, every 20 centimeters, and install it here. As you see, I installed it already. It's important to have that one. Uh, to uh, to to avoid uh, damage uh, the boat. Okay, so I'm finished with the uh, polishing the boat and also finish with the uh, anti folding second uh, time. And as you see, it looks nice and very hard. And also, uh, this strip band, uh, it was a metal pieces and I replaced it with a, a kind of plastic, very hard plastic and it look perfect. Finish with the anti folding and it's dry and is ready to go for a, a, a drive.